Welcome to Clicky, which is a Google Analytics type uh, platform that uh, measures your visitors to your website. Kind of a little bit more reliable than uh, Google Apps at the moment. Uh, seems to be uh, just, I don't know, just a lot easier to work with um, and kind of gives you better graphs, more responsive. <laughs> We moved to it recently because I didn't really trust the information from Google Analytics, even though it's probably the best, but it just, I don't know, you could never tell where people had come from your website for, and it was just, it was all a bit strange. So we've signed up for a $9.99 per month package, uh, which is very a good value overall for the fact that you can use up to 10 sites. Uh, you pay monthly, and yeah, it's just, I went through a few of them before we got clicky, and I was like, no, th th this one just seems to, it just seems to work. So it's the, it's the 8th of April today, and um, we've only had it on for a week. So our website, it's a New Zealand website, it gets probably about 50 visits a day, very sort of high, sort of highly specialized, um, I mean, it's like, it's in the web design uh, field, so you don't really get browsers coming in it's kind of people looking for <clears throat> it's people looking for um for information about our services so uh what what i'm going to do is i'm just going to run through some of the features and you can have a look at uh what what the information is that you get and have a look at the kind of the, the plan options so if we have a look at you know the first thing is you have this thing you can see all, we can see all the graph so at the moment you know, I think it's April the 8th right now in the States, a uh, bit of a time difference, but um, that's how it's, that's how it's measured. Um, so yeah, that's, that's kind of, it's kind of the, it's the graph you see at Google Analytics. Um, you can see, okay, nothing there. Um, we can see which pages give you, this really isn't that helpful until you uh, probably build up more information. Um, but if, if we just go into the, the main page, I think that's easier. So uh, today, um, if I just go to a date, I'll just go to something which is, has more information, which is going to be the last seven days. Uh, so it says we've had 288 visitors and the actions. So what have they done? So they've come in from the website. Uh, what have they done? They've gone to a page view and they've clicked on outbound links. Um, so that's what you'd expect. If you want to have a look at those outbound links, it will tell you um, where they have gone to. So they've clicked on uh, support, they've clicked on external websites, uh, some of our portfolio, uh, a variety of things. So that is very, very useful information and just kind of like what you don't really see as well with Google Analytics. So there's nothing really you can do from a marketing point of view, but it's just, it's good to know. And then if you go uh, to the visitors, expand on that. So you've got unique visitors, new visitors returning. It's probably a bit hard to measure that right now because it's only been running for a week. Uh, but I would say that's pretty good. So if I click on new visitors, um, I'm gonna break it down. It's gonna break it down by country and it's gonna break it down by the keyword. Now this secure search is kind of like where it says in Google Analytics not provided, which is very annoying because you can't really target from that. Um, uh, very, very annoying. But I get the feeling because, you know, we kind of like our company, for example, um, we're, certainly, we're certainly in New Zealand. If I go to it, um, like, I'd imagine like if you go web design Auckland, um, so there we are like kind of just there and then I think, yeah, so there. So we're kind of like sort of up the front of the whole pack. So a lot of, uh, like, it's annoying that it's not telling you the keywords because of the secure search, um, but there's nothing we can really do from that. We can see that 83 people came from Google. Um, we like that in the fact that, you know, if we ran Google AdWords, it's probably about $30 a click. Um, so we look at that thinking, well, you know, with, if it wasn't optimized or whatever, would the uh, people have found us? Uh, less likely so, it would have been lower. 
Um, so if you look at that, you're thinking, okay, well, thirty dollars times eighty-three is like sort of two thousand four hundred dollars. So we think, yeah, okay, that's pretty good. Um, these other links that people come from, not really care. Like Google.India, we don't do websites there. People may have seen our work, so they've come over. Um, well, that's a website kind of designer site. Um, and then some people come from Facebook to our page. A uh, variety of others. I can only imagine if the, if the list goes down. WordPress, they've come to us. Someone searched for, from Bing. Um, another Google search in Sri Lanka. So nothing, you know, it's really, our focus here really is on the New Zealand side of things, and I'm happy the fact that if I click on that, um, you can see that, you know, it's all come from like from New Zealand. And the best thing is you can see, right, what's this person did yesterday? Uh, six actions. Where are they from? They were from Christchurch. They went to the portfolio. They looked at two other sites, three other sites, had a look at those, um, and then went back. So that's... That's what they did, um, and I, I guess if you just mouse around, whoops, uh, back, you can find, you know, what everybody did. Uh, so we now did three actions, one action. You can sort all that, I think, can you know, you, you can't sort it just by date, um, but it's good, you know, it's just, it, it gives very specific information. So this one, this person did six actions, uh, from Auckland, what do they do? The website services, the portfolio, our testimonies, FAQ. So someone clearly looking for web design, um, and you know, so all these searches are of a similar nature. Uh, whoever this person was from Call Plus, back in Auckland again. Um, you know, what did they do? Probably similar thing. Contact us. Um, homepage services contact us services again you know whatever so it's very specific probably probably getting a bit bored right now but it is a very user friendly way to like a very user friendly way to display it and it's also quick so you don't muck around um, I don't know I find Google Analytics very very like it takes a long time to load um, so these visitors um, it's not so all visitors, it's probably some maintenance work being done, so that's probably not too thing. But if I look at these, like so 83 visitors, 83 unique, uh, average site, uh, average time on the site is four minutes, and the bounce rate is quite low. I like that, like like 22% shows you've got like targeted traffic. That to me is a a great metric. The last thing you want is like people like you know, 80%, 70%, even 50% is not very good. So 22%, happy with that. Uh, Clicky tells us that, like it measures it towards the rest of the site. Kind of in line, you know, you, you've got people looking for web design service, they will have a click around. So that is good. Um, if we go to the visitors tab, so it, 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 once again, it's just showing you, um, you know, someone's come in there and done that. From the, the content, it shows you all the pages. And it shows you, you know, as you'd expect, the like main page, people click out to the portfolio, they want to see what we've done, the services like about frequently asked questions, testimonials, free stock photos, that's one of our themed pages, um, business email hosting, self-management, clients are doing that, um, PayPal fees, just general, uh, general stuff. So, um, yeah, nothing, nothing too crazy. Um, and if we go pages on entrance, so all of them enter from there, th those are the direct links that what, what clients have. So seven of people have clicked on that in the last week. Stock photos, people find that and they come straight to it. A portfolio, people find it somewhere else. Probably on the information sheets we sent out to leads. Um, so they've clicked on it, whatever, you know, it's, this is very, very, useful information uh, and then the exit page what are they most excellent they most excellent on the home page makes sense um, there is a high bounce rate people also come back well, not a high bounce rate but you know it's still 20% people I won't interpret this too much but yeah it's um, you can look at what they download I don't think we've got that set up uh, no nothing there events nothing there media nothing there D 
domains. Yeah. Okay, don't really know what that is. Uh, searches. So as I say, once again, secure search. Um, that's troubling um, because there's a day where, you know, you used to be able to find out what people was, like, use the keyword. But I think it was moving away from, like, totally, like, sort of keyword optimization to more kind of, you know, content orient sort of content orientation and, like authority sites rather than just you know oh can we rank for this keyword what does this keyword mean should we do more effort if we get voted for affordable web design we have one visitor should we do more on that you know how i i, I think our focus here is on like, the whole site not so much just sort of keywords um links so you know who's come from where right so you can see people have come in um from a variety of areas this is interesting but not really helpful um, and then on those links, I think you can see domains, you can, look, the detail is very, very good. I have to say, like, it's, it's logically presented. I do find with Google Analytics, you're kind of pissing around with a lot of, I it just, it's, it's not as good, which is a shame. Um, so anyway, you can go Firefox, uh, what's your browser makes sense. Um, well, I don't know if it makes sense, but. You know, it's got a few mobile searches, um, so that's good. You can go operating system, it'll distill it better. Um, and then the hardware will show you, okay, the phone and the other and the iPad. Um, I don't, Android, okay, that must be just for all mobile visitors. Uh, okay, well, because... Windows 7 doesn't, oh, whatever, anyway, but, oh, here we go, here we go, operating system, and hardware. Okay, don't really follow that, but that's, you know, very specific information. So here you go, here's your cities. So Auckland leads the pack. Um, and, yeah, I mean, it's it's good. You can see where you've been viewed, and uh, can you do it by countries? You can. There you go. We get a lot of Indian spam, so that's probably where that's generated from. Um, and, yeah, so it's very detailed, you know. You can go down right, I mean, probably viewed, you know, someone's found us in Romania and Sweden and Ireland, Brazil. Um, bearing in mind this is all in one week, so, you know, I'm sure that list will build out regions. When we do what's going to do New South Wales... Um, probably not as useful. I think city is probably more useful. Um, languages, English makes sense. It shows you the um, uh, the ISPs and the internet service provider. So yeah, cool. Host names, extra. Um, so where people have um, have their ISP. Um, not so much interesting. Global maps should see a lot of New Zealand heat. Yep. There you go. Um, a little bit in Australia, a bit England. Uh, recent visitors map once again. Okay. This is, I mean, this is a way superior product to, you know, to Google Analytics. Um, campaigns, goals, you can set up stuff. So, uptime i don't know it's just there's a lot of features here where you can kind of just um you know go on to it um okay we're not going to go to that now but that's yeah i've seen this come up before so you can see you know well, currently there's no visitors online uh that's fine um how do you get rid of this i cannot remember um but yeah, that's, uh, oh no, that's just come out from there. So I'll show you, and then Twitter, you can set up. Um, yeah, it's got a lot of features, which I have not set up yet, but you can see um, the purposes. So I'm gonna actually register a new website. Um, so it's gonna be this one, uh, it's an Australian version. And it's very easy. Once you've signed up, you just go like bang, put it in. I think you get a code. And as I said, you get 10 free 
accounts default yeah mirrors what the hell is that mirrors no uh okay i'm gonna uh you want this to be kind of like australian time uh site alignment uh what's that about military Okay, it's centered side width. Uh, I think it's that. Um, do, 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 do most of, yeah, 1024. Very good question. On site analysis, bottom right, submit. Fine, that's very easy. And then let's get that tracking code. Um, and we don't want the affiliate badge. You should, should unclick that because otherwise it says, hey, it's all being monitored by Clicky and it just looks like a cheapo's site. So uh, get the tracking code. Why is that? Yeah, there we go. So if we go into Weebly um, and just go, boom. just go in there see what's happening um plug it in here we go okay and then we just go like edit site and then do, 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 do. where are we um go back in there And I think it said, what's the instructions? Uh, just basically says tracking code. I think you put it on the footer. Uh, settings, SEO. Fine, yeah, fine. Okay, let's put that down there. And then save that, publish that, and see if it works. Verify tracking code. Is that, yeah, submitted. Submit. Your tracking appears to be installed correctly. Fine. So there we go. You can go back to the dashboard. You can now flick between the two sites. And all as well so actually why can you not flip between the two sides uh okay weird um okay that makes absolutely no sense uh what's happening okay th there's two sides fine you're gonna do it from here so uh that's all gonna be set up um yeah so that's well, well, that's the overview it's it's a bit of a it's a bit of a whirlwind, but um, I would recommend this product. I'm not putting some affiliate link below to say, yeah, it's awesome, buy, buy, buy. Um, if you do, uh, I think you, the person who links, uh, links you've clicked, I think earns 30% per month, so earns like $3 a month from that, so uh, that's interesting. I did not uh, mind signing up to those when I... Um, bought it because the guy that I got this from was very well informed. So I'm just doing this video because there's not heaps on it on YouTube and uh, I thought it would be helpful. So uh, thanks for watching and uh, yeah, let's just, uh, I hope it works out for you if you do get it. It's uh, it's a very good tool and a lot easier to use than Google, than Google Analytics. And for me, it was a mental block always going into Google Analytics and just kind of being it's bluggy and I just I didn't trust so this is just makes analytics fun thanks for watching cheers if you have any questions do let us know we'll answer them below thanks